We're following another developing political story in our state. Democrats are calling for an apology for con from Congressman Greg Murphy over his deleted social media post about vice presidential nominee Senator Kamala Harris. This comes after last night's vice presidential debate when Murphy posted a tweet calling Harris a walking disaster, saying she was only chosen as Joe Biden's running mate, quote, for her color and her race. Murphy later deleted the tweet. Harris is the first black woman and South Asian person to be on a major party presidential ticket. The state Democratic Party issued a statement today about Murphy's deleted statement, calling it, quote, racist and offensive and demanding an apology. Congressman Murphy is not responding to calls to his office with questions about his deleted tweet about the Democrats' vice presidential candidate. But he did make a public appearance late this afternoon in Jones County. Nine of your sides, Camila Barco is live in Trenton. Camila, did the congressman talk about the Harris tweet there? No, Shayla Murphy did not bring up anything about the California senator or his social media message. He was here to speak about the opening of Trenton's new volunteer fire station, the facility that was damaged during Hurricane Florence in 2018. Murphy took part in this afternoon's ceremony, sharing a few words about the fire station and how the East is working to recover from Hurricane Florence. Then Murphy left the podium area, walking out the back of the new station. I followed the congressman asking for his response to the controversy over his social media post. Mr. Murphy, do you have five seconds to talk? Well, as you can see, the congressman is not saying anything about his tweet or Democrats' calls for an apology. WNCT has reached out to the congressman's offices this afternoon. The voicemail box at his D.C. office is full, and he has yet to reply to our message that was sent to his Greenville office. Live in Trenton, Camila Barco, 9 on your side.